I think people want to hate. And I think when you're on top, people want to knock you off your pedestal. And I'm talking not to you at home, to Rob right behind the camera. <laughs> Rob, Rob yeah. he's a, Rob's a hater <laughs> because Tom Brady's married to a supermodel. He's got perfect bone structure. He's great at what he does. He's at the top of his game right now. No integrity. Listen, get real. Get real. Instagram has banned Kanye West. The social media app slapped the rapper with a 24-hour timeout after they said he violated their policies against hate speech, harassment, and bullying. Good. I, it, it, we're we tired. Yeah. We are exhausted. We don't. We want out of this chat room. Like, I, like please remove us from the group yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't take it anymore. Kim Kardashian, with all the resources and all the money in the world, can't extricate herself from a life from this very manipulative ex. Don't ask other women who are in abusive situations why they don't leave. There's she has everything for her, and she can't get rid of this. Let's talk about Netflix, huh? Do you guys share your Netflix password? We're going to talk about it. Many people do, which is why the streaming service, well, they're going to crack down on it. The Netflix culture, and just let, go with me on this, was very much word of mouthy. It was like, have you seen this show at the water cooler? Pass this on, and that's how it would get it. And everyone would kind of share passwords, and that was kind of the way it was. It organically grew. And all of a sudden, they're Scrooge McGee, and they're taking us down and saying, we're going to make sure. Now, do I realize this is stealing? Yeah. <laughs> Everything in pop culture is word of mouthy. And we have an expectation that you are going to pay for all of the people who are behind the scenes and the creators. True. And Netflix also has done a decent job and continues to get better at get green lighting projects that haven't been greenlit by other platforms. So those are creators who deserve to be paid equally and fairly for their work. All right, who here? Oh, okay. <laughs> let me tell you, I'm guilty. I'm not even gonna sit up here and pretend like I don't have everybody's aunts, uncles, cousins <laughs> password for every single thing. And I'm sorry to the creators because I am one of those people. That's just foul. I need to change my <laughs> weight. Foul. The Critics' Choice Awards and the BAFTAs. Now at both shows, some of the celebs use their platforms to voice their support for, for Ukraine. Take a look. In all sign languages, this is the gesture for Putin. That last one, like the middle finger. You ever look back at like when you're in high school and you have like pictures with your yeah. middle finger and like a cigarette and you're like, what a loser. In this situation, I don't know how you can get through anything like this without mentioning Ukraine. Leah Thomas has become the first openly transgender woman to win an NCAA championship. But her historic win is not without controversy. I think that the wording of labeling her a cheater simply because of her identity is where we go wrong. Yeah. She followed the rules and won based on the rules. Now I think biology and sports really matters. If there's that chance of even an unfair advantage, then it becomes problematic to other women that have been competing in the sport and think that there's something that's off that won't be able to make this, this equal in some way. So, so I think when people are competing at a level, you have to make sure the playing field is exact. And it's kind of hard to do that if we're ignoring a specific part of biology. A woman protesting the war in Ukraine interrupted Russia's main evening newscast yesterday. She held a sign saying, no war, do not believe the propaganda. They are lying to you. What she's doing, in my information, is being a soldier of the truth. She has nothing to do with arms or guns or bombs. This is her truth. This is her weapon, the truth. You've just looked Putin in the eye and called him out. Well, she is brave, and we are praying that she will be okay. And this sparks the revolution. The Senate passed a bill that would keep us on the current daylight saving time forever. I thought I was all on board for, like, let's never change that again. But like Erica said, you got to get the kids up early and get them out the door to school. If you're doing that while it's dark, it makes life a lot more difficult. Why do you disagree? I think it getting dark is a good thing. I think we always forget that we are animals at our core. We are just basic organisms and we need our circadian rhythms. In the winter time when it is dark, it is time to go in your cave and it is time for you to rest up for the winter. I think that's important to the overall cycle. So are you disagreeing? So you're with me. No, I'm saying I like- Keep wait. things the same. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the whole thing? I like that. Yes. I thought you, you were saying you really wanted to. Okay. No, no, I want to just keep it the same. We fall back with spring ahead. I argue. No, that's good. I like that.